Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. I am Anne, you're on Scent Solutions underscore ME. We talk all about affordable perfumes. If that's the kind of content you like, you're definitely in the right place. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always watching. If you're new on here, welcome on board. And to everybody watching, happy holidays and hope you're having the best of the season. So let's get into today's video. We are talking Baccarat Plurial Femme from Fragrance Avenue. This is a dupe for MFK's Feminine Plurial. And that perfume made the rounds on social media. I'd say about two, three years ago, it was very much talked about, but this is a dupe from Fragrance Avenue. Now let's get into the notes as usual. We have Rose, Iris, Violet, Jasmine, Lily of the Valley. So you can see this is really heavy on the florals. Then you've got Vetiver, Patchouli, and Orange Blossom. What do I get from this perfume? Starts off with a blast of purple florals and a watery white floral. So definitely get the iris in this. I get the violet. I get that watery, beautiful lily of the valley from this one. And you're going to get that floral explosion from the get-go up until the dry down. It's quite a linear perfume. It doesn't really change much in terms of the scent profile. It's also masterfully blended in such a way that if you're paying much attention, you might pick out the individual notes, but overall it has its own vibe in terms of the scent. So depending on how intensely you are paying attention, you might pick out individual notes. Other than that, it's just a nice, beautiful, cool, powdery, purple floral supported by other notes playing in the background. So like I said in the opening, it's all floral, purple florals, really lovely, really beautiful, feminine, soft, all that good stuff. But as this begins to dry, you're now going to start to get the vegetal patchouli. It's a bit on the green side, sounds the earthiness, you know, so all that earthiness, soil-like patchouli um, accents are taken away from this and you're just getting the greenness. You're also going to start to get that cool woodiness of the vetiver. So those are the notes that you're going to get as this dries but the the purple floral scent never really goes away it stays through the duration in this i don't get too much of the rose so it's there but it is so muted and in the background it doesn't play a prominent role in hair at all maybe it gives a bit of support to the iris and the violet but those two notes and the lily of the valley are the stars of the show here. I do get a little bit of soapiness and I think this is contributed by the orange blossom. But again, that is not the star of this show. So what you're going to get in essence is a Swedish, sweet-ish purple floral scent. You're going to get a little bit of an aquatic aura to this one. It's going to smell a bit like sea breeze. So like you're in the ocean, you're smelling that sea breeze with the saltiness and then the wafts of that purple floral sweetness adding to it in addition to a little bit of woodiness and some greens from the patchouli. That's the overall scent that you're going to get from this. Now, in terms of whether it's leaning more masculine or feminine, I'd say that this is largely a feminine scent. It's really close to the skin, uh, projection, all that sillage, everything is about arm's length, but this lasts about four hours on my skin, about six hours on my clothes, though I have to spray intensely and all of that. Now, it's a feminine scent. You're going to get some powderiness. You're going to get some soapiness. It's going to make you feel really, really uber sophisticated. Yes, this one will. It's going to give you that freshness and all of that because of the soapy elements of this. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful feminine scent. But the vetiver and that slight woodiness at the base makes this wearable by somebody who would typically like more masculine scent profiles, but I think it leans more feminine anyway, overall. Now, in terms of where I would wear this, I would wear this 
on errands. It's, it feels like a white t-shirt and jeans type of scent, but I would also wear this to the office because it's quite muted. It won't really offend anybody. I think it's great for the office. It's great as a signature scent. It's great to run your errands. It's just that wearable everyday scent in my opinion. I would wear this in spring, summer because I feel it would do very well in warmer weather. Now, guys, let me know if you've tried this. This is really my opinion about this perfume. I think it's a beautiful 8 over 10, you know, just because it's done so elegantly and it does smell 75% like the original, in my opinion. Now, I didn't give the original a full day wear test, so I can't comment on the performance relative to the original. But if we're talking overall scent profiles, I would say it's about 75% similar to the original scent which is good for the price so let me know guys if you've tried this one until i see you on another video enjoy the rest of your day or night and happy holidays bye guys